Welcome back to Brighter Financial Future to all my future millionaires and billionaires out there. Hopefully everyone's having an amazing day in their stocks or cryptocurrency is going to the moon. The stock market and the cryptocurrency space have been really crazy. A lot of good gains out there in the world, some dips. In today's video, I'm going to talk about one of my favorite investments, ticker BCRX, BioCris Pharmaceuticals, and why I like BCRX so much. You don't want to miss today's video. Enjoy this intro and stay tuned. And just a disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. This video is strictly for entertainment purposes only. Any investment may involve risks. So it's always important that we always do our own individual research. So let's jump in into today's video. In today's video, I'm going to talk about what is BCRX, why I like BCRX as a company, I'm going to break down some of their moving average numbers, and my final thoughts overall. So BioCris Pharmaceuticals Inc. is a biotechnology company that discovers oral and small molecule medicines. Now this is in the sector of healthcare and the industry is biotechnology. So this is a space that BCRX works in. Now let me discuss why I like BCR so much. Now in January, they came out with a oral once daily capsule, which was approved in Japan for treatment of HAE. Now, I'm neglecting some of these technical terms because they're very hard to pronounce, uh, so I'm using their abbreviations. So BCRX announced that the Japanese National Health Insurance System has approved the addition of their capsule, Orladillo. I probably totally butchered it, but that's okay. I'm just going to call it capsule. Now, this capsule price listing starts on April 21st, so that's coming up really soon. Now, they partnered with a drug maker that's headquarters in Japan, Tori Pharmaceuticals, which owns the commercial rights to this capsule in that country. Now, the reason why that's important is Tori is set to launch the Oral Once Daily capsule in Japan. This is going to trigger a $15 million payment from Tori to BCRX. And BCRX is entitled to royalties that range from 20 to 40% of the sale of these capsules in Japan. Now the cost of these capsules range from, so for 110 milligrams is around $39,000 for a supply of 28. <laughs> that's not a lot of supply, that's almost, um, that's over really $1,000 per capsule, depending on a pharmacy you visit. Now this is a cash price without insurance. So with insurance, you're definitely probably gonna get a better deal, but this if you're paying cash, if you unfortunately don't have insurance, and you have this ailment and you need this treatment. Now this treatment treat patients with, I'm just gonna say HAA, is a rare genetic disorder that can cause reoccurring attacks of pain, disabling, swelling attacks can occur in any part of the body. The cost is super high, but outside of the cost, this is a great uh, once daily capsule that people can take. On the positive side, they are creating something really beneficial for people in need with this HAE. So that's the great thing about modern medicine. Hopefully with insurance, they don't have to pay that amount out of pocket. Hopefully with insurance, they'll cover the majority of the costs. I'm not sure about what the insurance structure is like, but hopefully most of that cost is put on the insurance company. Now, RBC Capital Analyst Abrams sees this capsule as a potential, as potentially generating near terms in a U.S. sales, not counting Japan, in a neighborhood of 49 million and raising to perhaps 300 million by 2026, competing with other HAA drugs that are already doing over half a billion dollars or more in annual sales, which suggests the 300 million sales target shouldn't be out of reach. So now we're talking the U.S. market in addition to the Japanese market as well. So this is a big win when it comes to the drugs that they're making. Now the big drug that they have coming up uh, from BioCris is BioCris Oral Factor D Inhibitor, BCX9930. Don't you just love those scientific terms? Now this is advancing in pivotal trials and PNH following successful proof of concept trial. So basically, it is going fast track with its uh, trials. 
So based on these results and recent interactions with U.S. and European regulators, the company plans to advance directly into pivotal trials in PNH, in proof of concept trials and renewal complement mediated diseases. Now, based on the results and recent interactions with U.S. and European regulators, the company plans to advance directly into pivotal trials in PNH in the second half of 2021. Now, PNH patients in the trial also experienced reductions in key laboratory biomarkers, so that's huge as well. Now, let's look at some of the numbers here. BCRX has a market cap of $2 billion, so it's definitely really small when you look at the giants like Pfizer, Johnson & Johnson, and other pharmaceutical companies. Um, their 52-week range is from at the low, they were trading at $2.50, and at the high at $14.24. I was lucky enough to get in a little under $4, and I hate dollar cost averaging up, but I have been adding, my, adding to my position at a higher valuation, which I do not like, but I do believe in this company going to at least $15 or $20 within the next one to three years uh, with this company. Their 50 day moving average is $11.24. They were just down recently to almost a little under $10. So I bought uh, some more be below, not below 10 and a little bit above 10 as well. Their 200 day moving average is $7.74. I like this company under 12. A little 13 is a little high for my price, but right now is at a price point that I like. Um, so that's the reason why I'm adding to my position. Now, some of the top institutional holders are BlackRock Inc., Baker Brothers, Vanguard Group, State Street Corporation, Citadel, Sir. I think some of these might have sold actually. But those are some of the top institutional holders at the moment when it comes to BCRX. Now, Yahoo has a one year estimate of $14.56. That's why I like this company under 12, even though I do believe it has the potential to reach 20. I don't want to pay 20 for it. I want to get it at a good valuation for me. Now, some of my final thoughts when it comes to the BCRX is on a downside, they didn't make a profit in the last 12 months, but this isn't really a bet on profits and revenues. It's really a bet on the future of this companies when it comes to Oral Factor D in the Orladeo capsule as well. So that's what I'm betting on when I'm investing in this company. I'm investing in the future of the drugs they have coming out and the potential of those drugs. So that's what I'm betting on here. And it's a bet into the future. So that's the reason why I'm investing in this company. It's have so far it's been one of the best investments I've made so far. I was able to get in at a good price and I've been adding to my position ever since. Now this is what I consider more of my speculative stocks. I'm more into dividend stocks and index funds. So when it comes to these I kind of put a smaller portions of my investments into what I consider more high risk, high reward companies. And this is definitely one of my higher risk, high reward companies, but it's definitely been a winner for me. And actually, I've been in this company since October of last year, and I bought all the way up into April. So I just continue to slowly build uh, shares into this company. But I think I'm almost to position uh, size, so I'll probably um, slow down a bit and refocus my allocations into other stocks. But let me know, do you have BCRX? Are you a fan of BCRX? If not, do you plan on looking into the company and actually buying stocks in this company? Let me know your thoughts and opinions below in the comments. Make sure you hit that like button. It really helps out the channel. And don't forget to subscribe. I talk about mainly dividend stocks, index funds, it's general stock information as a whole, sometimes cryptocurrencies and growth stock. But overall, you have a good time. If you like talking about stocks and finance, then this is a channel for you. If not, have a good one anyway. Until next time, peace.